हेलो एवरीवन सो वी हैव मिस्टर जैक ही इज ए 74 ईयर ओल्ड मैन एंड ही इज बीइंग एवैल्यूएटेड फॉर ओकेजनल पेल्पिटेशन एंड पुअर एक्सरसाइज टॉलरेंस हिज डाइट कंसिस्ट मेनली ऑफ प्री कुक्ड फूड दैट ही हीट्स अप इन द माइक्रोवेव ओवन ही इज टेकिंग एस्प्रिन थायोजाइड एंड ग्लूकोसामिन डेली and his peripheral blood film is shown below well if you look into the peripheral smear you can see the rbc size they are big size rbc size increase and this single neutrophil is there if you look into the how many lobes are there in the nucleus so the neutrophil 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 there are nine lobes in the nucleus of the neutrophil and this is what typically what is called as hyper segmentation of the neutrophil nucle nucleus hyper segmentation when the number of lobes are six or more than six lobes are in the neutrophil nucleus is hyper segmentation rbc size is increased this is known as macrocyte so we are very clear that we are getting macrocytic anemia with hyper segmentation of neutrophil nucleus and this condition is known as megaloblast anemia okay so we learned about megaloblastic anemia then we have term called normoblastic anemia where the rbc size is big what we call as macrocyte it is there but the number of nucle this lobes in the nucleus they are less than 6 and this is so called no normoblastic macrocytic anemia well with this background which are following substance is more likely elevated in with the patient blood well the answer of this question is homocysteine well as i told you in the in the history and peripheral smear show consistent with megaloblastic anemia now you know the definition of megaloblastic anemia this is due to folic acid or cobalamin so called vitamin b12 deficiency so we are getting large rbc macrocyte that we have seen in the peripheral smear and you are getting hyper segmented neutrophil now both folic acid and cobalamin are involved in conversion of homocysteine to methionine this is very very important point okay same picture so deficiency of either will result in increased homocysteine level both deficiency are distinguished by measuring methyl malonic acid concentration this is very very important we have seen both folic acid deficiency and b12 both will lead to increased homocysteine but if you want to differentiate whether it is due to folic acid deficiency or b12 you check methyl malonic acid concentration what we write as mma why is it so because cobalamin is also involved in conversion of methyl malonyl coenzyme a to succinyl coenzyme a this step is not done by folic acid so there is one major difference in the in the in the involvement of folic acid and b12 so cobalamin deficiency will lead to increased concentration of mma whereas it will remain normal in folic acid deficiency this point you should know very well this is a universal question asked in all the exam throughout the world whichever exam you write so both have megaloblastic anemia but remember mma level will be increase in b12 deficiency okay so let me tell you some basic sciences basic biochemistry both b12 and folic acid are needed for two pathway homocysteine to methionine b12 needed as well as folic acid are also needed in this okay both are needed now synthesis of thymidine triphosphate which is needed for synthesis of dna again b12 and folic acid both are needed so in the both the step both the reaction ka b12 and folic acid are needed let me clear make it much clear basic concept look into this first of all we learn 
uh, what happened? Dietary folate, it is in the form of polyglutamate. This is converted into monoglutamate in the intestine. And this is converted into methyl tetrahydrofolate. Well, now we have a homocysteine. This is converted into methionine. And this we need B12 and we need 5 methyl tetrahydrofolate. That is the derivative of, of folate. And ultimately, tetrahydrofolate is being made. And remember, methionine is also being made from homocysteine. Now, this tetrahydrofolate, with the help of B6, is converted to folinic acid. And this folinic acid is converted into thymidylate. Okay. And this is done by the enzyme synthase, and this is the, which is involved in DNA. So now this how B12 and folic acid both are needed to make DNA. Okay. Well, ultimately this is uh, converted into dihydrofolate, and dihydrofolate reductase is involved in converting into dihydro into tetrahydrofolate. And we have drugs dihydrofolate reductase are there which inhibit folic acid metabolism. Little bit more that the homocysteine is also converted into cysteine with B6. So B6 is involved in this reaction. B6 is involved in converting tetrahydrofolate to folinic acid also. Okay. Well, little bit now, little bit more basic chemical biochemistry. We have odd chain carbon atom fatty acid and we have branch chain amino acid. They together make propionyl coenzyme A. This propionyl coenzyme A is converted into D-methyl meronyl coenzyme A. And this is converted to L-methyl meronyl coenzyme A. And this L-methyl coenzyme A, with the help of B12, is converted to succinyl coenzyme A. This succinyl coenzyme can, can go into citric acid cycle or can go into making heme with the help of B6. If B6 is deficient, then this will lead to sideroblastic anemia. Okay. Well, suppose B12 deficiency is there, then this reaction will not be there and majority of methanol uh, this coca d methyl melanoyl coenzyme will be get, will get converted into methyl melanoyl melanic acid which call as mma so that's why in case of b12 deficiency mma level is increased well let's look into other option ferritin ferritin is the principal storage ka iron storage protein in the body okay Fatin level are decrease in iron deficiency anemia. They are increase in hemochromatosis and sideroblastic anemia. We know very well these two are iron overload state. They are also increase in acute inflammatory states. Well, now I have a question for you. Stop the video, write down the answer. Why serum ferritin is raised in acute inflammatory states? Stop the video, write down the answer. Well, the answer is, is a ferritin is also a, a marker of acute inflammation. Okay, so that's why ferritin level are keys in any of the inflammatory conditions. Let's look into other option. Methionine, homocysteine is converted to methionine with the assistance of both folic acid and cobalamin. Deficiency of either will decrease methionine concentration. Haptoglobin, option C is incorrect, is a protein that binds to free hemoglobin to make Hb haptoglobin complex and this is happening in intravascular hemolytic anemia. Well, this is the blood vessel, this is the RBC, it breaks down, this RBC got break down, Hb is released in the circulation, it will immediately combine with haptoglobin. So haptoglobin concentration will get reduced in intravascular hemolytic anemia. And these complex HB, this is removed by the by the liver. 
okay so hepatoglobin level is decrease in intravascular hemolytic anemia is not affected by folic acid or b12 deficiencies so golden line to remember folic acid and cobalamin deficiency both cause a macrocytic anemia with hyper segmented nucleus neutrophil nucleus what we call as megaloblastic anemia deficiency of either will decrease increase homocysteine level because both are involved in homocysteine metabolism only cobalamin deficiency will cause increase in methylmalonic acid concentration thank you very much